Got done with another walk run today. Went about uh, 35 minutes or so, 33 minutes. <clears throat> Felt really good. Towards the end, hammies are dying. I need to probably start to stretch them out a little bit. Felt like I might have pulled it a tiny bit, but running really slow, so it's probably more of just a cramp. Gonna get back home, bring the kids to school, start my day. Post-workout meal. This is short ribs. Crock pot at this stuff, and look at that. Everything came right off the bone. The bone just sitting right in there. Talk about bone broth. Again, epic bone broth, beef, beef jalapeno is what I use. Look how awesome that looks. Look at Look who's excited. <laughs> but I threw one uh, can or one thingy of bone broth in here, and it ended up making all that liquid because this thing liquefied a lot of the fat in here. Looks amazing. I'm excited about it. Will you? Stopping in for some Phil's coffee. Gonna get me a uh, iced coffee with some heavy cream in it. Gonna be delicious. Grabbing some breakfast out today. Got uh, sausage, egg, and cheese omelet and some steak on the side. Filling, filming and some stuff today with uh, Carrie Adams. You guys just caught me picking my nose. Uh, got this new uh, strong shirt on that I'm really proud of and excited about. Can't wait to launch some of this stuff out to you guys. You know, we're always working hard. We're always working on uh, being better, better execution, um, being able to get our message out there better, just always working on everything. Today, working out with a local bodybuilder, Carrie Adams. You guys have seen her before. You guys have seen her in some of the videos that we've shot before, like the Revenant Sleeve video. She's one of the girls that I hacked in half with a chainsaw. But uh, she is doing a local bodybuilding show. And she's a few weeks out. Not bodybuilding, but whatever that next thing is for women. Physique or whatever. Um, I forget exactly all the different divisions there are in bodybuilding. I've actually only been to one bodybuilding show and that's been my own. <clears throat> um, but I do like bodybuilding. I do appreciate it. And it's fun to have Carrie uh, coming into our gym here and there. You guys saw me do the Super Bowl pump with her bicep, tricep workout blaster. And uh, for today, we're going to be working on some chest and working on some bench and kind of showing her the slingshot. She's used it before, but you know, kind of showing her how she can get into like handling more weight without uh, without all the weird shoulder issues that you might get with handling more weight. And then uh, in addition to that, you know, doing some really good kind of shaping exercises, <clears throat> kind of bodybuilding style movements, supersets and stuff like that. And then end of the workout with a really good, strong, powerful finisher. So can't wait to get into it today and, and get through this, uh, get through a good, a good strong workout. And um, I got a couple meetings to get to today, but today I think is pretty relaxed other than that. So hopefully I can get away from this goddamn place and uh, get some time to myself so I can work on a bunch of other things. There's like a studio that I'm trying to set up. Um, <clears throat> there's some supplement stuff that I've been working on and there's kind of a lot of things to get to. There's more apparel stuff that I've been working on, but there's, there's a lot of things to get to, but I can't get to them when I'm actually here because I'm uh, kind of stuck working. So kind of message to a lot of you is <clears throat> that if you want to figure out a way to shift into having another job or, you know, move into a different career, you're going to have to, or even you want your gym to be successful or you want your business to be successful, you've got to find ways to work outside your business. Working on your business um, is effective and working in your business is effective, but <clears throat> getting outside of your business and working on it in that way to try to think outside the box and expand it is uh, super important. So working like in your business is can be good and it can be great, but working on your business and working and just trying to think in different ways and even just doing different stuff, doing things that are almost completely opposite of, uh, maybe not opposite, but doing things that are like not nearly 
they don't represent anything with business. You just go on a hike. But a lot of times going on a hike or finding some sort of restoration of some kind, finding some peace and some happiness in going in a yoga class or, or reading or, um, you know, going to a movie. Sometimes that can inspire a lot of things on the inside that gives you a lot of energy to put back into your business and to put back into your job. Uh, those of you that are, you know, looking to get out of the job that you're in, you know, um, I always think it's a good idea to uh, work, you know, work towards your dreams, but also do so while you're earning a living, you know, so try to earn your living and try to make some money so you can kind of quote unquote scrape by, but then side hustle, you know, that kind of Gary V side hustle he always talks about, you might have to wake up at 5 a.m. on every Saturday and Sunday for the next two, three years to work on this idea, to work on this concept or whatever that, whatever that thing is that you have, you probably have it. You know what I'm probably, you guys probably know what I'm talking about. And you have to figure out how do I set this in motion? How do I stop just writing about this and talking about it and thinking about it? And how do I set this in motion? And that's what you want to get to. Can't wait to get this workout in and see how she goes. Filming some commercial stuff today. Filming shit every day making content the content that you're watching right now making more content uh, you'll be watching through a commercial probably content all over the place going to be doing some stuff uh, with the slingshot today working on the bench i've been feeling pretty strong i've been gaining some size been gaining some mass i went from 225 to 245 pretty much overnight <laughs> with the carnivore diet but Things to keep in mind, I haven't changed my PEDs at all. I know there's a lot of questions about that on my Instagram. So, you know, something to understand about PEDs, they don't they don't accumulate on top of themselves. You play your PED card and you go from 220 to 240 and that's kind of all you get. Um, you might be able to gain size and mass later on. You might be able to play your growth hormone card. You might be able to take more shit, weigh a little bit more, weigh 250, weigh 260, things like that. But... You know, I've been on anabolic since I was 25. I'm 43. and uh, But nothing recently has changed with the amount or the kind that I'm taking. So the only thing I really increased was just uh, I've been having shorter workouts. Lifting in kind of heavier spurts. Training a little heavier. Um, and, uh, and the diet. I went from fasting to not fasting. So... I ditched fasting. I've been fasting for many, been fasting probably on and off for two years or so. And I, and I love it. I really love the benefits of it. Um, but I just decided to get rid of it for a little while because just as powerful as fasting can be, eating more can also be really powerful. So I decided to switch gears and start to eat more food. And so that's what I've gotten into. Um, 225 was my lowest body weight on a carnivore diet with a lot of intermittent fasting. 245 has been my heaviest amount of weight. So 245 or 225 that I registered was after a long day of fasting, after a bunch of exercise, depleted, diminished. But 20 pounds is 20 pounds, and so that's why I shared that out on my IG, and a bunch of people gave me a bunch of shit for it, but just wanted to illustrate to you guys kind of how that happened and give you some more context to it. Um, but regardless of all that, I have at least a net gain of 10 to 15 pounds since uh, eating more on the carnivore diet. And also uh, my strength is going up, been able to box squat more, been able to bench more, been able to lift more, and still all while doing some running and handling a lot of other exercises. So I'm gonna hop into this workout. There you go, Carrie. Gonna try to bring the arms up a little higher. See if you can try not to come back quite as far. Oh, oh you're dead. Okay. See if you can try not to come back quite as far with your arms. <clears throat> okay. And keep the tension in your chest more. Yeah, yeah, like that. Yep. There you go. Oh. Okay. I don't have to rest. Try not 
Try to press them up towards your eyes. Get a little bit of an angle. It's not hard at all right now, even though we've done a bunch of chest stuff. that down there then you grab this Ta -da -da. this will be difficult oh I can feel this sorry gonna be really hard thank you so mark yeah you can try to go low in here And then yeah. start to go in the middle. And then try to go high. Oh, I'm losing it. Oh, you got it. One more. Oh, I had to cheat. I had to really bend my arms. But now I'm going to grab this again. And this is going to be what we round it out with. Ooh, my hands aren't even working anymore. If you want to check out all of what I'm doing, you can go over to markbell.com and you can see everything. I think it's like seven bucks a month. Burn your, burn your, burn your Netflix account. <laughs> Stop paying for that and sitting on your ass doing nothing. Start paying for something, I'll do something for you. Grow the chest. Fuck the rest, right? That's what we need. Big packs, big checks. There you go. There we go. All right, 90 seconds. Long time. So, Mark, you got it. You can hold on another thirty seconds. Ooh, that left side's not wanting to lock out anymore. Ooh. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one, done. Done, done, done. Woo! Mark's going to extra credit. Yep. Whoa. Five ten p.m. Putting in that work. Got to head home. Probably sitting in some traffic. Stone bitch. Not a big deal. I'll let the Tesla do the driving, right? Um, productive day. Shot a lot of content today, and just shot something that I think you guys will find to be quite amazing, mm -hmm. quite mm -hmm. awesome. Yikes! Oh, my hammy is.
you guys saw me running early this morning. I didn't really film the run, but uh, the run's kind of boring to film anyway. But uh, kind of tweaked the hammy a little bit. It's going to be, it'll hurt for three to five days or so. So <clears throat> the next uh, run walk that I do, I'll probably have to just try to run a little lighter. I don't think I need to miss it. But uh, just shot something awesome with my brother. Uh, it's going to be Bell Brothers World. Uh, it's going to be Bell Brothers World Carnivore News. We're going to try to give you that to you at least once a week. Um, you know, we're still playing around with how we're going to do it and format and different things. But we're going to create something really special for you guys. Create something really amazing for you guys. We love sharing content. It's a huge passion for me and my brother. Um, we love sharing information with with all of you. And we're not trying to hurt anybody. And we're not trying to. Um, we're not trying to mislead anybody. You know, there's comments on Instagram saying, don't trust these guys. And we're not, we're, we don't really even care if you trust us. Um, what we'd like you to do is we'd like you to try some of the things that we recommend or even just not even try them, but just to further look into them because we know, we feel, we strongly feel and, and I know that a carnivore diet can help anybody. It really can. I know that by eliminating a bunch of junk and got all these people all the time saying calories in, calories out. You, are, you guys are such ridiculous amateurs. I'd love to smack you right upside your head. Of course, that is a, that can be a component, but it's not the only component. It's not the only thing at play. There's too many other things at play to even think about uttering those words any further. It's... um. You know, it, it, and it doesn't help. It doesn't help. It doesn't help to jump on my IG and be like, hey, you gained weight because it's calories and calories out. Hey, you lost weight because it's calories and calories out. What you eat is hugely, massively important, and it is, it is more important. And we can argue about this all day, but in my opinion, it's more important than the calories in, calories out equation. Because if you continually select to eat protein, you will automatically eat less as it is so that's my view on that anyway got to get my ass home and i gotta start eating again this is probably the second day in a row that i've been really pulled away happens a lot you know i freaking i love work i really do my dad told me one time he said you know don't ever be don't ever feel bad about loving work because i told him i was like man i'm, I'm kind of working a lot you know i need to i think i need to be home more and stuff like that and uh you know, he just told me, he said, you know, don't ever be, don't ever be, uh, no reason to be apologetic about loving work. It's an okay thing. And I agree, but I do need to get home because I need to see my kids and I need to see my wife and I need to eat some food. So I'm going to enjoy that. Pickled quail egg. Give them a try. Let's see how she is. Hmm. It's actually really, really good. Yummy. More crock pot meat. Still enjoying it. Still loving it. And got some. Got a protein shake going over here. Slingshot protein keto pro. Raw milk and raw heavy cream. Eating some of this, and I'm gonna cook up some steak in a little bit.